News update for InfoLive TV, this is David Omen. On Monday night, the Hebrew University of Jerusalem announced that it had uncovered the grave and tomb of King Herod, the ruler of Judea on behalf of the Roman Empire from around 37 BCE. The grave was discovered in Herodium in the southern Judean desert. Herod the Great is credited with expanding the Second Temple and building Masada and Caesarea, among others. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon, who recently returned from a visit to Lebanon, said Monday that illegal arms smuggling into Lebanon from Syria for the Hezbollah is continuing on a regular basis. Moon added that the smuggling is exacerbating the political crisis in Lebanon. U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice has decided to cancel her scheduled trip to Israel in light of the political backlash following the publication of the Winograd Commission's interim report. Rice was due to visit Israel right after her trip to Moscow next week. It has been reported that Prime Minister Ehud Olmert is conducting secret talks with Palestinian Authority Chairman Mahmoud Abbas and expects major progress to take place this summer. It appears that the talks are centered on substantive issues and not just confidence-building steps, such as removing roadblocks. Hezbollah's deputy leader, Sheikh Naim Qasim, said in an interview that all Hezbollah's actions and policies are coordinated with Iranian leadership, including firing rockets into Israeli cities, for which an Iranian green light is required. The French ambassador to Israel said that Israeli-French relations will improve with the election of Nicolas Sarkozy to the presidency. Following Sarkozy's election, there have been riots by mostly Muslim immigrants in the suburbs of Paris. The U.S. dollar sank to a seven-year low on Monday, passing the four-shekel mark and reaching 3.998 shekels per dollar. Analysts have predicted that the dollar will continue its plunge and reach the 3.7 shekel mark by the end of the year. Today on InfoLive TV, we bring you the story of the ancient martial art of Kung Fu in Jerusalem. Today, the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs, and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access infolive.tv.